Hi, my name is Cosimo Pecchioli and I'm the Data Center Cooling Solution Manager for Alpha Laval. And today we talk about flow rates and how they affect the performance of a gasket plate and frame heat exchanger. So different flow rates are challenging for a gasket plate and frame heat exchanger because you have the inlet of the cold side and inlet of the hot side but then they get distributed through the fixed number of channels inside the heat exchanger and it's the same. So 1000 GPM one side and 100 GPM the other side, one of the two is inefficient. Most heat exchangers are more efficient if the, different, if the two flow rates are similar between the hot and the cold side. Okay, here we have a very simple uh, diagram, let's say, draw of um, gasket plate and frame heat exchanger. When you have the front plate, the pressure plate, and all the uh, heat transfer plates. So here you have your cold inlet, and here you have your hot inlet. So as you can see, you have the same number of channels for the two sides. That implies that if you have significant different flow rates, that is a challenge for a traditional design gasketed plate and frame heat exchanger. If you know that you have different flow rates and you cannot avoid that, talk with your preferred vendor and a solution can be designed to minimize that effect. For instance, here at Alfa Laval, we have asymmetrical plates that can handle very efficiently different flow rates.